Hey guys, how's it going? Oxmas here. Welcome back to Union Cross and another Metal Spotlight video, but this time with Sexy Lake Terror, aka Stained Glass number seven. Um, I ended up pulling for this guy. I want to try a new PvP strategy for him for multi turn buffs that carry over so the second Keyblade doesn't need a Kyrie or Shion, and I can just bring in a metal that does a lot of damage that has a defense boost max on it. Same thing with him. I'm going to put a defense boost four max on him or five max if it comes out before four max is available again. So uh, right now, I will tell you what. I'm going to do with it, but I can also tell you guys what other skills you can go with. So without further ado, let's jump in and do these trait rolls because I got 10 of them because I had to go for the mercy. So uh, stained glass number seven, what's really good about them is that carryover buff, the 110% guilt, and also resets the enemy's gauges, meaning the red count and the blue count are above enemy's heads that will be reset. So a couple things to take in, in uh, consideration here is that he costs zero huge aoe multiplier uh not the top one but still really good and with this many trait rolls to go into it this can turn out to be an incredible metal um the thing is he costs thirty thousand jewels which is ridiculous and i can't believe i spent it but what i'm gonna do with him personally even though i'm gonna get a really good traits or bad traits it doesn't matter what happens i want to put four or five max on him because in pvp he's not the strongest and i like to be competitive in pvp i like to try it out since all my other metals are doing totally fine in pve content but if you guys are focusing on pve E content just throw the attack boost seven or eight max on there and go ham all right don't even worry about what i'm gonna do with my terra for you guys that seven max is good enough if you want to follow my pvp strategies and then i'm gonna go for that defense boost four five max or i might combine them with the kai or Shion right now temporarily with the defense boost six so i could have that extra defense while also buffing my next turn keyblade so we're gonna jump into this uh that's the skills you guys want to put on him so trait rolls he's got five slots i want to see extra attack i want to see plus 1000s and i want to see negative 60s anything else there is pretty much if you raid raid damage and if you want to stop some pvp strategy of triple threat you can put in paralysis poison or sleep whatever mixture you want poison you can use your kairos and shions to get rid of so i recommend paralysis or sleep instead so that's the traits let's go for my trait rolls guys here we go wish me luck wish me luck on this beautiful expensive overpriced metal Thirty thousand jewels you better turn out to be something amazing <laughs> or i'm gonna be crying at the end of this video so first trait roll i would love to see that extra attack on this guy and uh negative 60s plus 1000s are just sweet sweet bone oh my i just finished recording the cloud video and i got negative 60 on my first roll okay well future of this account is that i don't have to worry about pv con pve content anymore having that negative 60 ground there it destroys almost everything organization events except for zaldin because he flies Ariel would be crazy. That's not bad for some reverse Keyblades. Um, Ariel would be crazy to have that perfect for Colosseum, but Colosseum is only for a skill, so I'm not worried too much about that. Wow, the gauges. We do have 10 rolls. We do have 10 rolls, so I'm not too worried here. 10 rolls, but 4 gauges on this? I'd rather see the raid damage, to be honest. Since my other medals got raid damage, might as well just make a raiding trait. I'm going to regret saying that. Watch. I'm going to regret saying that. All right, so far, this is five rolls. Uh, this is my last one. Uh, no, my last one. This is my last empty slot before we start racing some traits. So, I'm going to call it out. I want extra attack. Come on, Terra. Sexy Lake Terra, give me the extra attack. I told you I'd regret it. I told you I would regret it. I told you. <laughs> the traits aren't terrible right now, but I told you I would regret that. So, anyone who loves raiding, he's not a bad raiding metal either. Like, he's got AoE damage, which is great. Extra attack. Come on. Oh, the paralysis resist. I'm going to use him for PvP, so I know you guys are about to yell at me, but I am going to use him for PvP. And gauges these days aren't really that important with all the SP restores, but like I said, if you put them on reverse Keyblade, that does make a difference sometimes if you don't have the right attack boost maxes and SP gauge zero on other metals. But he caught zero, so he's going to do great. Come on. Plus 1,000? Yes, I called that, kind of. I don't know if I saw it before. My brain was just too slow and said it, but I kind of called it before that. So, uh, I am going to get rid of that max gauges plus 2 and put that plus 1,000 there. And let's keep going. We got three more trait rolls. Now I just got to see that extra attack. Honestly, from this point, negative 60 ground plus 1,000 extra attack is perfect for PvP. It's exactly what I want it for. I know you're probably going to say, don't take away raid damage, but... Oh, the double negative 60 ground. Just like my cloud. 
That is so dirty. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Last two trait rolls. I've got the Sephiroth trait roll, so I don't need this one for high score challenge. Whoa! Okay, PvE content cleaned. You guys are going to hate me for this. I know you are. Oh, you guys are going to hate for me for this if I remove raid damage. You know what? I kind of want the raid damage here because I think I'm going to use them as my raiding metal. So I'm not going to take away the raid damage. This time I don't agree with taking away raid damage. Um, so sleep is the only thing we can't really take care of. If we're put to sleep, we're put to sleep, period. In PvE content, PvP. But paralysis is RNG unless there's a max. And also poison we can put Esunun. That can race it for us. So I'm getting rid of, rid of paralysis because of that. So I've got negative 60 aerial, negative 60 ground and plus 1,000 and the raid damage. So now, all this has to be is extra attack. And I've got an amazing, an amazing medal for a very long time. That was kind of worth its price tag, if I get that extra attack. The gauges are back. The gauges are back. I know you guys are blabbering like, just, just do it, man, just do it. I'm going with that PvP mindset and we're keeping that, that's it. That's how it looks. That's how it is. I like the sleep resist. Looks good. That 20%, I bet you, is going to help me somewhere down the line later on. It sucks no extra attack, but you can't have it all, guys, right? You can't have it all. So right now, he's got a 6 max. I'm going to keep him the way he is until I get a little higher in PvP. And, uh, yeah. that's. Do you guys want to see my PvP setup? I'll show you my PvP setup before we go into a real round. Actually, I haven't done my PvP content yet. So I might as well show you guys a round of PvP. So as you can see, I'm in place 4,309. I got my five tries and there's 20 minutes left. So what I'm basically doing here is that when I'm defending my first turn, you can see that Kyrie's there. She's not supposed to be there if I had this properly. Um, if I had another metal defense boost for max, it would be sitting on that instead. So right now Kyrie's there just because of that. So it would be him buffing this entire Keyblade and then it would carry over to the next turn to buff this entire Keyblade like you guys can see. There is a Shion there again because of defense boost for max, but that's what pretty much it is. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with this one hit here, having back-to-back uh, -back Keyblades. It's not really good to do it this way, but it's not terrible because my Shion is still there. So we're going to go against Phoenix here and see what we can pull off. So I'll show you guys the damage in PvP instead of, I guess, PvE content. Kind of interesting. interesting. And you can see my Supernova and my Keyblade setup if you guys want to. But this is my defensive strategy. Uh, it works better this way as a defensive strategy because um, when they attack me, I go second. So that means this Keyblade goes off. And then uh, the second Keyblade, I go first. So he can't erase my buffs or debuffs. So that carries over to the next turn. That means my first Shion is going to have times 7 strength. All that good stuff. Copying the Genie and just destruction from there. Um, so... First Keyblade, we're facing Defense Boost 3 Max, so this is unrealistic damage. Just don't even bother thinking that I hit 100 million all the time. Um, it's definitely less than that. I believe it's like, I'd say 65 million with Defense Boost 4 Max. I could be wrong, but still pretty impressive with the 3 Max. 106 million is very, very good. Uh, my free-to-play count right now is hitting, I think, 56 million if it's only a Defense Boost 4 Max and not 6 with it. If it's a 6... It goes from like 56 million down to like uh, 46 or 45. It's ridiculous sometimes. Uh, some RNG just goes everything for 6, 6, and uh, 6 instead of 4 maxes. So, uh, this is going to be the first round here. Obviously, a pretty easy win when you have a 4 max versus a 3 max. It's no problem. But you can see this guy's using a strategy of paralysis. So, I might be skipping medals here, which isn't bad. Uh, because of where my Shion is placed. So I'm going to skip the first two medals, but Shion's going to go activated. So I could use this as an attacking setup still because of that. So there's the guaranteed paralysis. This is a very good strategy that works out. The only thing is that they have to win their first round. If they don't win their first round, um, then it doesn't really matter because the person has a chance to come back on the third round. Or if you're in my case here, I might have enough damage because their damage isn't good enough right now. 22, 953,000. We'll see. 30 million. They're going to do about 35 million after this one. If she has the proper stuff on her. Yeah, there we go. 35 million. All right. So paralyze, skip, skip. But because I have the she on there, because of the defense boost for max, it's not too bad. But I don't know if this Keyblade has enough power to tell you guys the truth. Let me let me pop Nova there. Actually, yeah, I do. 
Um, he's only got three max, so this is gonna go overkill because this does 10 million with four max, 21 million with three max, and extra attack another eight million. So perfectly safe. Um, that's the damage though. You guys saw Terra, sexy leg Terra there doing some nice damage. That is my defensive strategy, but it also works as a pretty good attacking strategy. Now he's got to work on my third Keyblade. So you guys got a little bit of a different metal spotlight. Uh, I'm going to go show you off towards Sephiroth though, just so you guys can see the PvE side of this, because that was PvP. So let's go grab that Hades Cup and let's go see this Sephiroth. Where is it? Paradox. Um, I haven't finished this yet, but I will go to later on. Here's Sephiroth, level 5,000, 15 out of 15, and we will just use uh, the... Fairy stars. Okay, he is right in the beginning. So 3.229 is exactly what I want to show you guys. And because he has a negative 60 on him, I've never actually used this strategy. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works out. I haven't used it. I used that other strategy I showed you guys in a video. Let's see what Terra does in the starting there with negative 60 ground. 5.6 million. 5,620,000 over how many hits? Six hits, guys. That is over 30 million damage just on the first metal. So like you guys can see, he's got some incredible strength with him. And then he just does all the buffs and debuffs for upright and reverse defense uh, down and buffs for us. So just incredible. Let's see what Supernova does. I want to see what Supernova does here as well too. I know it has nothing to do with Terra, but we might as well throw that in there, right? 10 million, I believe that was mine. And now my friend one's going to show up. And that was 10 million and then the friend one he's doing one because he's got not, not enough strength on that but there you go guys that is Terra's metal spotlight really good metal um just so expensive if you guys were lucky enough to get it or afford it for 30,000 especially with cloud and sephiroth everyone's safe for that i got lucky and i got sephiroth in seven pulls so i was like screw it i was gonna go infinite on sephiroth anyways probably all 73,000. so i decided to grab that tear because i was very curious about that two turn system in pvp and it looks like it's working so far so that's pretty much it guys that's my terra i gotta do pvp in 14 minutes my last four matches so wish me luck guys i know it's gonna be over by the time you see this video but i appreciate it anyways let me know if you guys pulled for him i know you guys didn't because the banner was one way too expensive and two better medals are definitely around the corner when you look at pve content and especially pvp super burst should be in tier six primes but we'll see what happens so if you guys skip this it's totally fine i just want to really try out this pvp strategy but I didn't want to spend that 30000 Man, I, I got to stop pulling on stream with you guys. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.